Central Knight was very excited to have tonight's guest joining us on the program. 270 games he played at the elite level, 217 goals. He did everything. Premiership, Brownlow, six-time All-Australian, four-time club champion, uh, club captain, of course. There was nothing that you can do in the game that this bloke didn't do. Please make him welcome. It's a joy to have him with us. Ben Cousins, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Yeah. Good to see you. Jeez, you're good, looking you're well. You're good, Nick, too. Oh, no, okay. What's yeah. the secret? Uh, What's the secret? Well, yeah, I'd probably put it down to dancing at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, um, <laughs> it has been tough. All right, well, we'll get to that yeah. Yeah, shortly. But firstly, you've always had, you've always had deal. Yeah, well, you've always had dancing feet, mate. Like, there was no question about it as a player nice, when we nice saw it. There you go. Nice. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. that? You like that? How was that? I had some gold there. But oh, oh <laughs> sorry. Just, I, I, I no, beg no, your you pardon. Have a look at this. Poetry in motion. You're born into a footy family, Ben. Was there ever any doubt that, you know, at whatever level you were good enough to get to, it was the elite, as it turned out? Was, was this what you were always going to do, play play footy? Uh, it's always what I wanted to do, you know. It, um, you know, my earliest memories were going to watch Dad play and train, and uh, it's where I learned to love the game. Um, you know, there was never any certainty about whether I was going to be good enough, but yeah. I was going to always um, leave no no stone unturned to find out whether I was going to be and um, yeah you know I, I just really did love it there's more to the game than just being able to cover the cover the deck but you're a magnificent runner I mean you could just blow up opposition players with your um, with your exhaustive running were you always a good athlete as a kid uh, well I was I was a, yeah from my age I was always a good athlete but I I wasn't um, I wasn't what you'd call a, you know, a naturally, you know, super gifted uh, runner as a kid. Yeah, um, yeah. I had to, my running sort of, you know, I was prepared to do the work early. At a young yeah. age, I was trying to, you know, do pre-seasons and stuff like that and work on my fitness when I was 13 or 14. And I got used to putting myself in a bit of discomfort and, yep. you know, and as I got older, I probably got better at that. But in terms of being a natural runner, my, my, you know, um, there was plenty of guys that were better runners than me and even my brother, was, he was two years younger than me. He, he was a better runner than I was, yeah. you know, yep. um, at, you know, uh, you know, 11, 12, 13 or 14. So, um, yeah, but it's just something I worked at and, um, you know, the, the sort of, more specific game type running, yep. which is what I learnt to sort of thrive on. Because you're a good player. Yeah. All right, mate. You all right? Over there? <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> we're on the telly. We're, we're, we're on the telly. telly. Just watching you're those just, highlights. You're magnificent Just player. looking off into the distance going, right. geez, you're a good player. Geez, you're a good player. <laughs> <laughs> is everything all right? He was a beautiful just player. Sure. Those highlights you, take us back. You were a beautiful. Those highlights are great. So you were a supreme athlete, and Murray <laughs> has talked extensively about your <laughs> ability to run opponents off his feet, which is remarkable, Ben Cousins, considering... If you look at uh, you as a little boy, it's hard to imagine this little kid running away from anything. Um, no. I don't want to be too cruel, but those the horizontal Geelong stripes are not, not doing a lot for you, are they, mate? mate I, um, I, I've seen this a few times you know, over the journey. I don't know what Mum was doing. She must have fed me every time I opened my mouth. But... I, I'd like to get some skin folds on. I, I'd You'd love to, wouldn't you? Know? Yeah, I think in today's time I would have been taken off Mum. But... <laughs> That would have been a job for community service. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh. Well, you're a superstar as a kid on and off the field, well, Mickey. You, you were talented. Yeah. You, I mean, and we, we, we don't want to go overboard here, but you just had X Factor uh, on the field, off the field. You had charisma in spades, and it came to you from a very yep. young age. In fact, <laughs> here you are, an early hit out in a Pepsi ad, uh, m making a bit of a statement. Uh. Ten it can get pretty tough out there sometimes, but that's footy. When you go to state league games, you'll be part of the action. You get to listen to the coaches at three-quarter time. And you could even win a brand new footy. But the best part is, you get to play around a little. Remember, kids under 16 admitted free to all state league games every Saturday, where would you rather be? At the footy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how much you got paid for that? Ed? <laughs> oh, I think I did get a new footy. I think, um, oh, wow. which was which was something uh, at the time. But um, yeah, that ad did follow me around till you know well into high school. Actually, <laughs> what did you know about? You mentioned your old man. What did you know about his playing sixty-seven games for the Cats and two hundred and forty 
for Perth. He was a state rep for WA. I hope you didn't get that footy for the no, Pepsi no, ad, no, by the way. No, no, Your dad make it himself, that one. Isn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> well, that's been kicked on the asphalt, that one. Hasn't it? <laughs> what, did you, what do you remember of him as a player, as a kid? Uh, well, you know, Dad played um, after Geelong, you know, back at Perth, um, which... I, you know, do remember. Yep. Yeah, he, I probably was nine, nine or ten when Dad retired, so that's, I was quite old. Yep. So, you know, I did grow up, you know, going to the footy, uh, training, you know, me and my brother, you know, and, and we loved it. Um, we looked up to Dad and, you know, in many ways, I guess I, I wanted to be just like him. Yeah. So, yeah, he... Um, yeah, he was very quick too, you know. I, I probably don't remember it um, enough from my own memory, but, you know, um, speaking to a lot of people uh, since he's retired about actually how quick he was, yeah. you know, I wasn't blessed with the same pace that he was. and had to. Like, that was another thing I had to really, really work at as a kid. I was, if anything, I was a yard slow um, and did a fair bit of training to sort of get adequate, but, um, but he, was, he was quick. Yeah. You say you wanted to be like your dad. You didn't want to play for Geelong, though. You could have, no, couldn't you have gone there under the know, father and son? Was, well, I did not I, you know, know I did. I really... I grew up wanting to, but... Wow. Um, it was um, it was a tough decision to make at the time. But you were eligible under father son. Yeah, I could have gone there. <laughs> so I, you know, um, I, I, I was a mad Geelong supporter right through oh, till I got picked wow. up. But my three saddest days of my childhood oh. were the '89, the '92, and '94 yeah. grand finals. And so you're uh, barricading for Geelong in those grand oh, finals. Oh, yeah. you know, and I used to go. Every second week to watch the Eagles, and I'd invariably be barracking for who they were, you know, whoever they were yeah, playing. Right. But yeah, I, yeah. you know, especially by that stage when I was um, coming in my draft year, I, whilst I, I wasn't an Eagles supporter by any stretch, I had a real healthy admiration for the way they went about it. They were yeah. ruthless did, by that stage. Did Blighty so. take you for a game of golf? Is it yeah, true? How hard did you long come Yeah, well, you know, I, you know, I had a connection with them, obviously, through Dad and... Uh, I was 16 and I, they flew us over uh, during the footy season. I stayed with Stephen Wells, the yeah, yeah, recruiting yeah. manager, yep. trained with the seconds, uh, I think, on the Thursday night, uh, went to the game on the Saturday. I played a round of golf with Blighty <laughs> on the Friday. I, I don't think I'd ever played golf before. It was the longest round of golf <laughs> of my life, you know. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, obviously he loved it. Um, Who would have been in that side? Who would have been... Oh, what, you year, what of, year was that? Uh, that would have been 94, 95. Oh, so, yeah, you know, sure. the Buddha oh, Hockings, no, the yeah. Ablets, the yeah. Bearstones, oh, yeah. Stones, Brownless. Oh, yeah. yeah. Someone's yeah. getting their ass kicked at yeah. Geelong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 This, yeah, this, yeah. It's yeah. a big story. Yeah. Unbelievable. So you, you made your debut again. So, 96, you, you, you break into the league, you play your first game, and it just so happens that you're playing against Geelong. Yeah. You're a late call-up for this. You weren't initially playing in this game. Is that true? Well... I played the week before. I played um, in the waffle over there yep. um, for East Romano and had a had a really good game. And Look at this. Um, yeah, I ended up kicking the winning goal for East Romano. We got up just uh, on the siren, and I actually rolled my ankle during that game. And I, I didn't train all week, but um, you know, Mick said on the Monday, Tuesday that he was that I was you know likely to play. Uh, and I did declare myself fit, but I did remember think you know I, it was still during the warm-up that I wasn't 100% sure whether <laughs> yeah. it was going to be right. And, you know, I was petrified of um, of not being able to get myself up. Like, and I thought, you know, Malthouse at the time was... <laughs> it was an intense, you know, yes. coach, you know, yeah. and if something like that would have, you know, sent him off. Well, let's, well, let's, well, let's well, have Sam, a look at... Sam here did, declared himself fit and did five minutes on bear attacks. So it can... <laughs> can go wrong. Ever been, ever been attacked by a bear? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll get to yeah, it. Yeah. I'll do it in, he probably has. Yeah, probably in drip tray. Hey, yeah, uh, yes. um, yes. let's go back to that first game. We see the nice highlights there. That's that's all well and good, Ben. But uh, have a look at the your first game. First game... And uh, first time you got caught trying to do a bit too much, oh, and then that resulted in your first spray from Mick Malthouse <laughs> in your first game. <laughs> have a look at him there. That's just a terrifying... Um, What's he oh, saying what, yeah. Well, he didn't even have to speak. You know, I knew what the blue was about. He, um, he was an imposing, <laughs> uh, intense coach, you know, when he wanted to be, and um, I... You know, I did hang on every word he said. Um, you know, he was, you know, very charismatic and his pre-game speeches and, and you know, it was um, emotion-provoking and, yeah. I, and I love that. Um, but I, at the same time, I, 
we all wanted to know where he was at all times. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't want Mick sneaking up on you when you were playing up in the change room. In that, but, regard, um, in that yeah. regard, he was much like a bear. Hey, I was going to say. <laughs> 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 I like that lion, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 as we said, this I'm not giving that up, by the way. No, keep going. I'm going to do it the whole show. Keep going. You're on debut. It didn't take you long to submit yourself in the team and the hearts and minds of everyone over there in Perth oh, and the West Coast supporters. You were, uh, you received as much mail as anyone on that team. Let's take a look. And while Ben is a vital player for the Eagles, he also has an undeniable star quality that has captured the public's imagination. He could well be WA's most popular footballer. Oh, ben Cousins. Ben. Ben. Now Peter Matera, Glenn Jakovic and Ben Cousins are so popular they need their own <laughs> private fan clubs. This star trio attracting more fan mail than the rest of the team combined. Yeah, it's not easy to pick the odd one out, mate, but... Uh... I suppose I'm probably uh, going to direct at the younger people, I suppose, more than these two, so... <laughs> oh, boy, Wait. what a drive-by for... <laughs> well... Yeah. Uh, only Ben and I know how hard it is to be the you know the pin up boy, the darling. How of the did show. you deal? Well, how did you deal with that? Because it would have been pretty intense, wouldn't it? The the focus on you. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it, it. I did remember, you know, uh, early on in my career, it all happened pretty quickly, a lot quicker than I thought yep. it would. Just uh, breaking into the side, and then, um, you know, I got more than my fair share of. Uh, you know, public scrutiny or um, uh, publicity. attention, yeah, publicity, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 you know, really for for what I'd done in the game, um, you know, I, I, that side was full of um, you know household names, yeah. you know, dual premiership players, and it, it was you know, I did feel you know from the beginning it was out of whack. So I tried to keep it in perspective. You know, I've been really lucky. Um, for whatever reason, you know, the public, footy public has been very good to us, you know, yeah. and, um, you know, I've been very fortunate. Yeah. 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 I know what you're saying, mate. It's a bit of a curse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you just, you just do your best and yeah, you keep yeah, going. Best, now, listen, I don't know how you do it. I, wait, yeah. just, I know you soldier on every yeah, day. Yeah. Anyway, listen, I, I, you're playing at the highest level. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're a movie, you're movie star good looks. Your cheekbones are unbelievable. Murray, Murray can't even stop looking at him tonight. It's unbelievable. So when it came to endorsements, I'm sure that you, you just... The, yeah, world the pick was, of the bunch. The world was your oyster. You could have... Oh, yes. Maybe it would have been Versace, Emirates, Rolex. All blue all chip. All the yeah. Let's just see who you went with. Right. Gloucester Park celebrates Christmas this Friday night with the Lou City by giving away five $1,000 shopping sprees. And join the winner's circle for the All Tools Christmas gift heats this Friday night at Gloucester Park. <laughs> Wow. You've decided to go to be the ambassador of Harness Racing Western Australia. <laughs> yeah. uh, how was it? Is it uh, where does it rank in career highlights? <laughs> well, the, I did have a, a strong connection with it because Dad was, has been a, uh, you know, a hobby trainer uh, for, for the last 35 years, really. Um, it's been a big part of his life, so there was that connection. Um, I... Unfortunately, um, have never really been able to get out hands on and give him a hand. I, I get, I'm an asthmatic and I'm very allergic to the horses. So <laughs> I, I, hang on. I, <laughs> I just you know, saw you at Gloucester Park. <laughs> yeah, well, what I do you mean you're allergic to horses? If I get closer than that, I'm in strife. I, my daughter does horse riding now, and you know, once a week I go out and take her and. I, I don't touch the horses. I don't go near them. <laughs> I make her put all the stuff in the back of the car. I take Clarentine. And most most weeks, I, 24 hours later, I'm still struggling to breathe. But that's the stuff you know. You've these got are to all things you kids. could have told Harness Racing West. <laughs> 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 exactly right. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, part of that West Coast team, of course, you're playing the 0506 Grand Finals against Sydney. And this rivalry between these two teams, there was there was nothing between you. But how intense. A was a rivalry between you and Sydney through this period, but these two games in particular. Yeah, it was. They were great to be involved in. Uh, we had so much admiration for the way Sydney went about it. Um, you know, they uh, they were as tough as the day is long. And, yeah. You know, we sometimes. Um, depending on how the game panned out, we'd find ourselves um, up at the end of it. But we knew that no matter what happened, we weren't going to break them. And by the time it was sort of 05 and 06, 
we sort of prided ourselves uh, on being a bit the same and... Um, yeah, it was just, uh, they were great games. Right, and, yeah. and it's easy to be a little bit more diplomatic about, you know, uh, reflecting on that um, with the fact that both sides ended up winning one. one. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. with those close finishes, quite easily they could have won both or we could have, but um, I think it was probably just deserves that yeah. both of us got uh, got a taste of it. Yeah. When, when you win one like that, you've got to go out and celebrate. And you can always awesome. tell who's had a real crack at singing the theme song. <laughs> I'm going to tip, this is the morning after, mm. Bo Waters has had a red hot car. They've waited 12 years, wanted it so badly. For the players and the fans, today meant so much. Does it still feel just as good as Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's singing like a good man, Bo Waters. Been attacked by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Ben Cousins is singing around this morning talking about on the other side of the break. We're here for Furphy. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Going back to the show is the front bar, Ben Cousins, our very special guest. Nice to have him part of the family, Mick. Great to have you uh, back on board. At the Seven Network, too, who have gone all in. You're going to be doing Dancing with the Stars very soon. I know you're in rehearsals, we'll get to that, but also Hover in Perth. You are now Nothing reading the news, you're doing the sport. How's that? Uh, yeah, it's, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it was definitely out of my comfort zone and it is work in progress. The people, the professionals make it look easy. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what, do you en- what do you enjoy more, reading the news or making the news? Because <laughs> As hard as reading the news is, it's a lot easier than being the news. You're it right, is a yeah. lot easier. Well, how are you? I mean, how are you going? We're not going to dive too deep into it all, but, but how are you going? We've lived your life from afar with you to a degree. Yeah. How are you? Travelling? Uh, oh, you know, really well, actually. Yeah. You know, um, you know uh, I wish it hadn't had to have taken this long and um, it had to run its course the way it did. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to um, be working and busy, have some real ambition back and, um, you know, just connected back in with friends, family uh, and even on a community level, you know, it's... Um, you know, life's never been better, to be honest. Well, that's good. Well said. Well said. Well said. Well said. <laughs> Come on, mate. Let's, we've been dancing around it. Let's get on to it. You, you are the star recruit for Dancing with the yeah, Stars. What, what's what's harder, a pre-season at West Coast Eagles or rehearsing the Paso Doble? Because <laughs> like, it's bloody hard, oh, right? It's been so hard. You know, I, I, I've had no... This is just so out of anything I've ever done before and uh, and it was hard, like it was hard to pick it up but it was hard in terms of just the hours that are required uh, to do the show. Um, but having said that, I, you know, I have missed the lifestyle of a professional athlete and uh, I, I wasn't I wasn't moving like one, but I was living the lifestyle. <laughs> what, are, what are the big injuries? Yeah, yeah. What are the big injuries? Like, you know, footy, you've got to rip a hammy off the bone or you've got to do that. What are you, what are you trying to dodge? Out there. Uh, well, I, you know, I've, I've got a couple of discs that um, doctors probably keen to fuse at some point. So I'm, I'm <laughs> sort of a bit selective at um, certain things I do. I don't. I only would ever run on the grass, and I don't put weights on my back or anything. But just in the lead up to starting this, I wasn't sure how just being on your feet for eight hours a day is sometimes a job, but yep. let alone dancing. So how that was going to go. But I couldn't, yeah, I, I, body held up really well. Um, so that was that was a big bonus, as a, yeah. as a footballer on Dancing with the Stars, I suggest you get the tapes out and watch Gavin Wanganee, oh, yes. who yes. really nailed it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think you can see <laughs> yeah. you're moving beautifully here. <laughs> and the dancing's good, but the acting... <laughs> Just, uh... Uh, anyway. I know. I... Yeah, yeah. It's the facial. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I, I know how hard it is. Yeah, I, I love Gavin Wangadine. I played on, on him um, yeah. a few times in the early part of my career. What a star he is. What a he superstar. Was, I'm saying as a dancer, the AFL looked at that and almost took away his brown light. That's true. Of course, Dancing with the Stars will be uh, airing on the screens of seven uh, later on the year, Sam. So I don't know. Oh, well, mate, let, yeah, let me know how it goes. I'll be, up there, I'll be up there this time next year, yeah. You yeah, will be. Exactly right. <laughs> hey, getting back to your footy, um, 
the derby. Oh, this of course, is it's this week. We get we get free, a pretty strong Fremantle start of the season. Well taken on. This is one of the great games of the year every year. I never miss this. This is all out war over there. How important is this match? to the state of WA. <laughs> That's just simply ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No well, one's going to yeah. die wondering here, are they? Oh, yeah, it, you know, they're always great games to be involved in and... Um, Jesus. You Were know, you nervous on the day? Did you go, this is going to be different to most other games this year? Uh, We're going to have to really go hard early? Well, you know... I, <sighs> I guess the, the big thing for us was to try to make sure that we didn't approach it, you know, any other, you know, in, differently to any other game. And John was, by that stage, was big on that, is that... Um, oh, what, he was the calming influence, was he? <laughs> John, <laughs> John Worstfold's calming the car. I mean, uh, I'm not yeah, buying this, because there's a very diplomatic response from you, and you're choosing your words wisely, but those games should be on pay-per-view. <laughs> All right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, but Fremantle always, um, for for the large part of my career, used to, you know, save their best footy up for us. Yeah. Um, they yeah. really did. And, uh, uh, you know, people often forget that the year that we won the flag, uh, they beat us both derbies, yeah. during both derbies, and I think finished top four and were close to, to sneaking through um, some of those early finals and we could have met. Um, so... They, um, you know, at different times have been a really good side and then even when um, they haven't had the greatest years, they've still been really hard to beat. Yep. And the end comes quick, uh, as we saw from uh, Dusty Martin uh, early. <laughs> but uh, the, your last game... <laughs> Just for, ignore them, mate. Your last, <laughs> Just ignore them. <laughs> your last game for West Coast, mate, it was, a, it was the uh, qualifying final 2007. You do your hamstring. Uh, and, uh, by the way, West Coast going well at the time. Yeah. This is your... And Chris Judd's last ever game for the West Coast Eagles. And that is the end of an era. And this, this shot here in the tunnel Ooh. is just, it's heartbreaking and it's, it's, a, it's an amazing shot. At, right then, do you remember what's going through your mind? Do you, do you know it's the end of an era? Or like, you know it's uh, over? Oh, no. Well, I didn't then, no. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it was a you know, decent hamstring, so it was obviously the end of my year. Um, but I didn't, you know, didn't foresee uh, what was going to happen over the summer. Um, and West Coast, it had never entertained my idea, that, uh, my head, that ever leaving or not being a, a one-club player. Uh, and, you know, when the dust settled after, you know, the club made the decision to part ways, you know, I fully understood, you know, the situation that I'd put them in uh, and the reasons why it was probably best for everyone that a change was made. But it took some time to come... Uh, to come to terms with the footy club, it's a, it is a great footy club. It's been such a big part of my life. It is now, um, fortunately. Um, um, you know, I'm back connected and involved with the footy club. Um, oh, you still get a game now. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear, well, it's interesting well, you say that, that. yeah, because I mean, the bloke wearing the number, number nine, nine jumper now. I mean, Nick <laughs> Nat carried the jumper around beautifully for a few years, but. Yeah. What do you make of this kid, Ben? Have you heard of him? I don't think they talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard of him. Oh, this, yeah, it's exciting for, for him and the footy club. Um, you know, this, he has got more than his fair share of uh, publicity, but, um, you know, in the short time that he's uh, been playing this year, he showed that he's more than up to yep. the, the grade. Uh, you know, and um, he is exciting. I have met him a, a few times, and he's a he, he's a he's a big, strong kid, and um, just the way he plays, um, um, it's a bit like uh, some people they they seem to sort of run towards the fire or run towards the, the trouble, or you know, he seems to do that with um, you know with body contact, or he, he loves he, it. He sort of yeah, he, he yeah. sort of runs towards it. He and, should be um, walking away and taking his clothes off. <laughs> You go back and you tell him. That's what we said. Hey, ben, there's a, you tell um, there's Listen, a... I had a crack and it didn't work. Keep right. going. Are you going to finish it uh, off, I reckon? Uh, right. Ben, there's a segment we have on the show and it's time now for... Yeah. Oh, look, yes, I'm ready to get... Oh, look. Hold on. I'm not sure we're allowed to do drip training. What? Right? Why because, not? Because, well, it's the subject of legal action. Oh, I don't know that. Uh, there is. is a suggestion that this segment is plagiarised another oh. segment which involved you many years ago. Uh, this is the offending footage. Oh. Do you have any pets? I have two pet rabbits. 
Well, that is... That's classic that drip truck. That is drip truck. That, that is, is classic. Really, that is almost word for that word. That is not drip tray. Drip tray is a lot more oh, sophisticated yeah. than that. I, I never asked that. What did she ask? Do you have any pets? I never. That's not. There's never been. That's never been asked in drip tray. Well, no, that's, not an, the that's an interesting. Park it and no, we'll that's an interesting right. question. That's By the way, you never uh, asked it. Pretty sure that kid didn't grow. <laughs> pretty sure that kid didn't grow up to host the Logies. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, listen. Right, so can we get under it, it or not? You know how it works. Yeah, drip tray. Punchy answers. I'll give some questions. We'll find out a bit more about your manners. Okay. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. All right. Um, <laughs> do you have any pets? <laughs> It's a very good question. Ben Cousins, favourite mm -hmm. movie? A one Flew Over the Cookies Nest. Oh, that's oh, really? really? That's, that's, did that's not a... see that coming. I didn't either. Well done. Oh, that's, a, that's a classic. Uh, favorite... Chief, the Chief. Yeah, yeah it's bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd love the Chief when he throws the... He's like a big Sorry. bear, isn't he, really? <laughs> hey, uh, favourite television show growing up, Ben? Uh... I've been watching Home and Away for a long time. Oh, <laughs> oh, Taylor it's, Walker. It's, 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 Who else said that? Taylor, 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 Taylor Walker says what? that's <clears throat> far and away. He well, came in and recited scenes. Who's your favourite character from Home and Away? You can't say Alf. I'll say James Stewart. I danced with him. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, yeah. Uh, what character does he play again? Justin. Justin, yeah, that's right. Jeez, I are. did tell him I, you know, when I was locked up, I did not miss an episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be running with that on the promos. <laughs> hey, Ben, whatever it takes to get through, mate. That's, I good, say. To, uh, yeah, that's yeah. good to know what's yeah. on in the screen. I'm that's guessing good. you were more home than away. <laughs> <laughs> while you were watching that, weren't you? <laughs> All right. Uh, toughest opponent? Oh. Toughest opponent. Ben, I said punchy answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll this, say this. Cameron Ling. Cameron Ling? Cameron right. Ling. Okay, yeah, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, our first car? Uh, Club Nissan Pulsar. <laughs> oh, the old Nissan Pulsar. <laughs> just sound like get smart then. The old Nissan Pulsar. What colour? White. How many how many Ks did it have on its odometer when it, you when you oh, it finished up? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I had it for a couple of years. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yep. All right, they're yeah. not all great questions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, do you cook? Uh, yeah, I cook the basics. All right, the three of us are coming over for dinner. What are you cooking us? Uh, I'm cooking your steak, I think. Yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> or, or, or a chicken schnitzel, yeah. Any, yeah. Any, so you any, had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> any sides? Uh, yeah, <laughs> ma mashed potato, obviously, usually, oh, yeah, cool. and All veggies, right, yeah, yeah, salad. All right. Yeah. Uh, right. Favourite coach? Uh, well, you know, I enjoyed most of my coaches, but John was probably, yeah. yeah one, John more, one more, one more. <coughs> What'd you say? I said one more, I said one more question. There'll be four more then. Yeah, right. uh, do you remember anything John Worsfold ever said to you? <laughs> uh, oh, well, I obviously do, but, <laughs> you know, I, I love Wusha. You know, he's, yeah, he was yeah. such a great coach. You know, from the moment he was appointed, um, at the footy club, you know, we we done it really tough for a couple of years. The the place did turn around overnight in terms of the bit of optimism and, and that, and and then he came in and yeah, we started to improve. Then punchy ants. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> uh, Have you ever dipsy doodled? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I might have. On the dancing with the dancing with the stars, you might have done it. Wasn't wrapped. I don't know. That. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was the name of one of those horses out across the park. Uh, Let's go. All right, last one. <laughs> last one, and it's the it's the big finish. You know the trip tray's over. Green cousins, what's your favourite colour? Green. That's oh, a good answer. It's a good answer. <laughs> it's a good answer. <laughs> Oh, it just is. It's a good answer. That, yeah, it is. And that was. Yeah, it is. And that was. Trip tray. Well done. We've buried the lead, Nick, though. It really, to, to be honest. One flow over cookies. Ben's, Ben's career. Oh. We've buried Oh, well, I mean, it only began when you left West Coast, really. You had the <laughs> fortune again. to go to the Tigers, where you are now a Tiger legend. Uh, you came to the club, it was two years, it was 32 games. What are your memories of going to Richmond? Oh, 
Yeah, it's it was um, it was a really tough lead up to getting picked up. It, there was no guarantees that it was ever going to happen, and uh, I was the last pick in the in the last draft, and I was super keen to to get an opportunity to play, and um, it, it came about. Um, at the death knock, and I was just wrapped to be playing footy. And um, do you keep keep in touch with the boys? I like I don't I don't like Richmond. I love Richmond. Um, Good on you, mate. I um I will forever stay connected to to the group um, and and the footy club because they played such an important part of my life, which far exceeds um, football. But even just from a pure football sense. Um, one of the great things to come out of not finishing up at West Coast was the opportunity to come here and play football. Yep. You know, I'd spent 10 years uh, coming every second week and by the time I moved here, probably three of my closest five mates lived here, um, but it wasn't until I got into the fabric and lived here and um, that I learned to love the place, you know, yep. Melbourne, but Richmond was a big part of that. Uh, and we had some tough times on field, but, um, you know, even after I finished up um, to, you know, f most of the time from a, from afar to just sit back as a supporter and fan of the footy club to s be on the ride with the Tigers and yeah. uh, there was, you know, a, a good eight or nine guys that went on to play in premierships and um, steer the club through a dynasty, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, to watch that from afar has is, is been one of the great joys of um, you know, my footy life. That's great. It's a very... Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a very uh, you touched on it. It's a very different club that you joined. You went from a powerhouse of the West Coast Eagles winning <laughs> premierships and finals and you went to, went to Richmond and uh, uh, very different in terms of style and I think would never more evident in your first game when you uh, when you launched the ball forward because your customary fact you'd think one of these three Richmond players would grab it wouldn't you but, <laughs> <laughs> is that, that, that what is wrong with you this, this this may have been this may have been that's the exact moment you decided to intentionally rip your hamstring from the bone yeah. and finish your career um, anyway they're a good club and that was good fun hey who's, who's, who's hey, laughing now hey Ben uh, not the audience we love celebrating <laughs> we uh, um, we love That's celebrating true. footballers' contributions to the game that we as fans of it love. We would have been given our right arm to be able to do what you did as a footballer and to be able to get you on the show as we do every single week and relive the career is a great joy for us and it's great to see you so well and it's great to have you on the show tonight. Thanks for coming Thanks. on. Thanks for